What's up guys? Matt here with Brad. We got Colton behind the camera. We're here at Oak Park in Minot, North Dakota. It's July 26th. Nice uh, nice little breeze, about 85 degrees out. And uh, so this is the first edition of our new series called Run Minot, where we take you to different locations around Minot and kind of show you what it's like to run, run the paths. And then uh, we'll do some uh, color commentary during the run. So let's get started. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so this isn't the uh, the real running path, but it's still a path. But the actual running path kind of circumnavigates Oak Park, and it's around 1.4 miles. But yeah, we're just gonna go run by the amphitheater here. They hold a lot of events here in the summer. They'll do food truck festivals. Uh, we'll do smaller concerts, venues. Sometimes the high school will come by and they'll do plays. The band will come by and do some <clears throat> symphony type stuff. And the weather is nice. Oh, yeah. They got movie in the parks. So, I think it's every Sunday they show a movie here. And as you see to our left is the Tuesday night farmer's market. I think they do that Tuesdays and Thursdays and Saturdays. Yep. We're going straight. Yep. I forgot to start the watch. I'm gonna wait for him since he's slow as fuck. All right, so this is the uh, this is where the auto loop starts, but it allows pedestrians and cyclists, but you gotta follow the rules. To the left. Runners to the right, bicyclists and cars. But all right, we're going to the actual running path right here. Taking a shortcut. All right. <clears throat> so usually there's a there's a shit ton of geese here, but. I don't see any, I don't see any yet. That's because they migrate. During the morning? No, seasons. What? Dude, I was here last week. I saw, saw so many geese. Canadian snow geese. They're probably migrating towards the snow. Oh, no, 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 these are just normal Canadian geese. Oh. Snow geese, they, they got the white bellies. Oh. So as, you, as you see, there's a ton of oak trees in Oak Park. Oh shit! Oh boy. Is it gonna rain? You literally just said there's a chance of scatter today. <laughs> well, I thought you looked. I did, but I forgot what I saw. I drank too much last night. <clears throat> Anyways, Minot's a lovely city. The parks are awesome. There's the a... people are awesome. The scenery's even better. And there's a ton of benches. Hey guys. Hey. Lovely people. Lovely. Pretty fast pace. We gotta pass up some people. And here in Minot, we pass with care. Give everyone a nice warning. Oh, okay, excuse right. us, excuse us. Sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. Oh, it's all good. Have a good one. <laughs> We're making a run series on all the Minot parks. And now you're in it. <laughs> now you're in it. Now you're next. Show us your tits.
Yeah. All right. So also during the winter, they have a uh, a Christmas kind of Christmas auto the tour light. route. Yeah, Christmas lights all set up. It's a light show because it's <laughs> negative 20. You get in your car and there's different organizations and places and clubs and groups on base that'll set up a light show. And so wait for the town to generate money during the winter, raise some funds, help some organizations out. You pay a little money, get in your car and drive around. It's pretty cool. Something to do in the winter. The town loves it. Town loves it. Uh, we love it. It helps beat the seasonal depression that comes towards the end of September. And uh, you see here, we have a Camp Oweti. This is where they used to have Girl Scouts, but after the uh, uh, um, seven girls got murdered back in 98, they shut it down. So uh, no longer. Uh, Girl Scouts. I wasn't aware of the murder, but no, there was no murder. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> One up. So as you can see here, they got a Girl Scouts cabin right here. Uh, that allows the Girl Scouts to come out here, do their events. Also another bathroom. Bathroom in mid-run. No. no Built in 1986. Man. Matt, no one by the handicap bathroom. What up? I'm Colton. I'm the best one out of the running club here. All right, we just swapped out for eyes behind the cam. Saving the best for last on camera. <laughs> if you can hear that clicking noise, that's Brad's feet dragging across the ground because he sucks at running. <laughs> Brad does buy the flattest shoes you could think of. Like me and Colton got hokas on. We're running on clouds. Trail up here, it wise off. It's kind of nice. You can do a couple different little loops. If you do the Burley Mont half marathon slash 5K, it always end up in this park. You can do a loop or two. You run this loop? I can't remember. On the uh, half marathon? Yeah. Yeah, you run this loop. You start up where we started on the film, and then you come back around, and then dip off towards the uh, downtown. Yeah. So that, yeah, that race is every September. Run by the local running. What is it like? What are they called? Is it a group or a business? It's called the Run Soul Minot. Run with, no, Run with Heart and run Soul. Run with Heart and Soul, yeah. yeah they Some put gal, on. I think that just loves running and she started her own uh, running uh, organization. And she puts on all the, like the Burley Mont and she, there's like the state fair. They had like a 5K. And they'd be like random Christmas 5Ks. <clears throat> but you know, there's also another running group called Minot Runners Group. Afternoon, sir. Hey, what's up, guys? We found a secret stash. That's actually kind of cool. Is that a geocaching station? I don't know what it is. Oh, we got some toy dinosaurs for the kids. That's where all the high schoolers put their dime bags. This is pretty cool. It's a pretty well made wooden looking door, but. Yeah. Just leather. Yeah, tell us about the Minot Runners group. Uh, it's a dead group. No, they're, I don't know, kind of. So we used to do, uh, we usually do weekly runs at Roosevelt Park. Kind of do three to five miles and then end up at Atypical Brewery. Have a couple of brews after that. Uh, but we haven't had a group run in like a month. Uh -huh. But I'll start that back up again before it gets too cold. Matt, would you say you always interview other runners? You have videos about interviewing other runners. Would you say you're the fastest runner in mine? I think uh, that's. Can't really debate that. I'm not. Yeah. Interesting. So, yes, uh, I think I am, yeah. <laughs> I think I have one course record on Strava in the whole city. Yeah. Well, Definitely not the Third Street Hill. I got a ton of local legends. Local legend statuses on uh, those segments. <clears throat> yeah, the Roosevelt Park, I don't know if they mentioned it already. It's pretty nice because it's close to downtown. So, pretty centrally located within Minot. Oh, yeah. So, <clears throat> it's probably like a 10 minute drive even from the outskirts uh -oh. of town. Uh -oh. oh, pause. 
Oh, there it goes. <clears throat> All right, we're good. All right, yeah, I think our next video will be Roosevelt Park. Heck yeah. Yeah, that's a good park. Did I say Roosevelt? Yeah, yeah. I meant Oak. The one we're running in, Oak Park. Oh. <laughs> pretty centrally located. It's close to downtown, too. But they're all pretty centrally located, oh. so. Yeah, yeah. There's the coolest tree in Minot right there. No, nah, I think there's there's better trees at wood, the Woodland Trail. Yeah. We'll have to go there too. Uh, this paved uh, track around Oak Park, it's pretty nice in the winter time because it's they actually plow it and they plow it pretty soon after it snows. So if you want to run in the winter time, you can come out here compared to all the sidewalks in mine out which are never plowed. <laughs> We're the lazy people that don't shovel their snow. Yeah. So you have to stomp through. You can just drive here, get a couple loops in, get your three to five miles a day. As you can see, there's uh, dog baggies. So when your dog poops, you can pick it up like a good human. Don't leave it. Unless you're a bad, bad person. You'll see, possibly up here on the right, where the entrance to the park is. Uh, <clears throat> there's a Dollar General, there's a trampoline park, there's a pizza place, and then a movie theater farther down, which is nice. So if you have kids, you can come wear them out, take them to the trampoline park. If it rains or something, go get a slice of pizza, get them diabetes. Yeah, get them a slushy. Kids park is off here to the left with a little splash pad in the summertime. Oh. Ugh. It's just rainwater, Brad. Until you get monkey pox. Come on. Come on. So the Minot Park the faculty, they do really good jobs at keeping up with the parks, keeping them clean, keeping stuff off the path. Uh, you can go to any one park at any point in time, and you can tell that people might not take care of it and the faculty that work for the parks take pride in their work. Matt wants you to see this sign. He's pretty uh, he's pretty big on hating on skateboarders and bicycles and rollerblades on the trail. So All right, the rain picked up, so this concludes our run. Say, say bye, guys. Adios. Oh, cool park. <laughs>